do 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 Tell you what, I had a great time covering the Western States 100 out in California, but it is nice to be back home. Back to normal vlogs, you know what I mean? Just, uh, whew, it was a lot. I mean, I'm still recovering. What is today? I think today's Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday, so I'm still recovering anyway. It's good to be back in a normal routine and back to running, going to the grass soccer field. And yes, I do realize that if you are not as uh, into ultra running, which I get it, like it's, it's a unique niche within the running space, then the last six or seven days on the vlog was kind of a lot to handle because there was a lot of Western States coverage and vlogs of the, you know, over the past week. So anyway, if you're uh, more into track or road marathons or cross country, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Oh no. Oh no, shoot. All right, here we go. Staying positive even though I've only, I only have one sock on. All right, everybody. We're cutting it short. As far as I know, no blisters on the right foot with the no sock. Didn't do any filming. Time's a little tight tonight. So anyway, zipping back to the studio and cutting it short because um, not my foot, thankfully. Left foot is feeling amazing. My stomach, just a little, you know, you know, a little stomach issue. So we're gonna call it there. Guess what, the sun will rise tomorrow. We'll get some more miles in tomorrow. Probably right back here on this beautiful grass field. Although it's probably gonna be filled with thousands of people. I don't know what time everyone is gonna start showing up, but uh, this is where the fireworks go down. All right, again, happy Independence Day. See you in the studio. Oh man, welcome to the studio everybody. Yes, this is where I record a lot of the videos for all of you. I'll explain the name here in a minute, but I don't think I've filmed in here in about a week because of the Western States trip. Absolutely insane the last week. And yes, it's crazy, but I just have to acknowledge passing 20,000 subscribers and moving on up. And look at this, I just like reminiscing about where we've been, where we are, and where we're going. Remember this everybody, shout out to Luke, the vlog fan who made me this sign at 10,000 subscribers back in, I think this was early March approximately. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Thank you Luke again for this 10,000 subscriber uh, sign, which at this point is kind of in the rear view mirror as we move forward and a shout out again to all, and I said this yesterday, but just so we're on the same page with everybody who's joining up in the last week, probably because you found the videos searching YouTube, searching Google for Western States video footage or uh, finish line uh, footage. Oh my gosh, just so epic, all this footage that uh, is appearing on your screen right now. It is an incredible trip. Well, just so everyone knows, this is a daily, that's right, daily running vlog. So every single day, a new video is uploaded. I just, I don't want you to be subscribing to a YouTube channel that you don't know what it is. Um, and because a lot, there's a lot of running YouTube channels out there that make beautiful cinematic uh, racing footage, like racing vlogs. Uh, that is not just this channel. Like I do that and I think I do it pretty well, but I also we also do running shoe reviews. We do uh, training videos. We do simply just life videos. Like today when you're watching, this is the 4th of July. So I'll probably be getting some life footage with my family, filming life, sharing life with you. So anyway, just wanna be upfront with what you are subscribing to here on this channel. And real quick, the studio. Where does that name come from? Well, this is literally my shed and you can't quite see it right now on screen, but this is where I have like axes and saws and hammers. I'm looking at hammers right now in my shed. So what we did is we took the, the SH from shed and combined it with shoe, shoes, shoe boxes, and then combined it as well with studio because this is like my little recording studio to make it one word, studio. And yes, you spell it S 
H-O-E-D-I-O, -E just so you know. So welcome to the studio, everyone. And yes, I did promise three months ago that every single quarter, and hard to believe, so January, February, March, April, May, June. So now the second quarter of 2019 is in the books, but I promised three months ago that every three months we would check in on everybody's injuries. That's right, we're gonna just jump into it right now, the question of the day. Oh man, oh, and this is a tough topic, but we gotta talk about it. In the last quarter, April, May, June of 2019, did you suffer a running injury? If so, what was it? And or the other option for the question of the day, are you struggling with a running injury right now? And if you are, again, what is it? And who knows, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a PA, I'm not a physical therapist, therapist, but who knows, maybe myself or somebody else could give you some tips or tricks for dealing with a running injury down in the comments. That is the beauty of this channel is that it's not about me. It's about all of your wisdom, all of your uh, experience being shared down in the comments. So I'll just answer the question of the day because last quarter I was good. Uh, meaning two quarters ago, January, February, March. But the last one, the second quarter, not good. I suffered a stress reaction slash bone bruise in my second and third metatarsals in my left foot. It was my first bone injury. And yes, we're gonna go with bone for the keyword, throwing you a bone here. So it was a bone injury, my first bone injury in 10 years. I haven't had a stress reaction or a stress fracture since college at the University of Colorado when I ran for the buffs in 2009, 2010 when I graduated. So um, I'm in your boat, I, I feel you. Like, you know, running injuries happen and I wish I could have avoided it because I was getting ready for the Cleveland Marathon, but this is life, this is reality. We have to deal with it as runners and learn from it, right? So, um, so that's the question of the day. If you could hit it up down below and I hope that there's not too many comments sharing injury, like current running injuries right now, because at least in the Northern Hemisphere, it is summertime and now is the time to get outside, enjoy the trails, enjoy the outdoor running. Oh, and I hope you are healthy to do that, okay? And I should also mention real quick that my specialty in running injuries is plantar fasciitis and stress fractures, okay? I'm not too familiar with knee injuries or calves or soleus or hips or hamstrings. There's a lot of running injuries, right? There's so many and they're very nuanced. You know, it's not like it's running injuries are usually not traumatic. They're overuse injuries and sometimes it's hard to, in fact, my last running injury with my foot, it was really difficult to kind of nail it down what it was, but we landed after talking with the podiatrist, we landed on a stress reaction slash bone bruise in my left metatars my left foot metatarsals. So what is the game plan moving forward into the third quarter? Well, number one, how about we all strive to stay as healthy as possible? Uh, that's like, that was one of my goals at the beginning of 2019 to not suffer a running injury. But, but I'm also, oh, you gotta be careful. Oh, and it's walking that line. Um, but I also want to race well. I want to win races and I want to set PRs and I want to make, who knows, like potentially national teams. I don't know, like that is some goals that I have in this third quarter, which means I have to train. So what is my forecast of training and racing in the next three months? Basically my next big race, really the biggest race of my 2019 uh, well, what was going to be my 2019 racing season was the Pikes Peak Ascent. And I guess what? I think it's going to happen, okay? Um, I, I'm being careful, but I also know what I need to do in order to get as fit as possible for that race on August 24th, okay? So that's frankly not, it's like seven, seven to eight weeks away. So I don't have a ton of time, but I'm also excited that this training block is gonna be shorter compared to my last one getting ready for the Cleveland Marathon. So the Pikes Peak Ascent in late August. And then, yes, my brother and I are planning to fly to New Hampshire for the USA Track and Field Trail Championships. That's right, we're gonna fly into Boston. I believe it's September 29th or 28th approximately. Hi, Seth. Okay, I love you boys. You guys go, you guys go eat your food. Mwah. So those are my boys. Uh, so basically New Hampshire in late September for a trail race out, uh, yeah, out in New Hampshire with my brother. 
And then, guess what, everybody? There is potential that I may have found a fall marathon in October, not in the United States, okay? So stay tuned for updates on that. October, not in the United States. Again, we're looking at July, August, September, mid-October for this marathon. So uh, anyway, it's a pretty good window to work with as far as training and getting ready for it. Whereas last time with Cleveland, I think my training block was once again too long. It was a little over five months. It was just too long. So that is it for today. Thanks for hitting up bone for the keyword and uh, the question of the day about running injuries. And I hope there's not too many answers to that down below in the comments. But listen, this is reality. This is life. We're here to help each other. All right. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. And thank you again for all the new subscribers. It's amazing. It's crazy. You're the best. You are the best. All right. See you tomorrow, 5 a.m.